Good afternoon folks, 21st Century Caveman here, hope everybody's well, hope everybody's happy. So we're at the house again and um, I'm just here for a couple of hours and I've got a little task to sort out and it involves these storage heaters. Now there are three storage heaters in the property, uh, two of those are upstairs, one of them was downstairs, I actually pulled it from the area there and believe you and me, these things weigh an absolute ton. And um, I understand that um, some of these weigh sort of nearly 25, um, nearly 25 stone. Apparently they're full of um, bricks which heat up. I've ordered some new um, radiators, electric radiators, you know, which are uh, sort of, you know, modern, they're efficient and, um, you know, they're fully programmable and all the rest of it. So um, they'll be delivered um, in about a week, week or so's time. There's no point in keeping these. I mean, these things are shite, basically. Initially, I thought I'd perhaps put them on Gumtree or eBay, see if I can get a few quid for them. But it's clear, really, that, you know, nobody wants these. And for very good reason, they're very inefficient and ineffective. So I'm here tonight with a view to dismantling these getting the bricks out just to make them more portable so i can get them outside but we've got to be very cautious now um i've done a little bit of research and my understanding is that some of these storage heaters um contained asbestos and i believe um, the asbestos manufacturers stopped putting asbestos in these bloody things around about 1973 or thereabouts now um, I've got to basically try and find. I know what the, I know the manufacturer. It's a Dimplex. I've got to try and find a model number um, to see whether or not these actually have asbestos in them. Now um, there is a brilliant website which I um, which I found, and uh, I mean I'll put a link in the uh, description below. But this is a good website because what it does look it actually. Um, it gives you the man. Well, let's start from the, the top here. Look, so it tells you um, the manufacturer. It tells you the um, the manufacturer. It tells you what model numbers contain asbestos and the models which they've made which do not contain asbestos. So I'm looking for Dimplex somewhere down here, and um, I've got to try and find out um, which models have. Um, the asbestos in Dimplex, there we go. So the model which has asbestos in is a DSH 310 and all these models here do not. So I know I've got a Dimplex, I don't know what the model number is, so I need to manoeuvre these bloody things and uh, just see if I can get um, um, a model number just to see whether it's safe to dismantle them to get those wretched bricks out and uh, just to get the things out of the house. I'll reset the camera and I'll get back to you. Now, we know these are Dimplex because it tells us on the top there, look. Now, I've been having a bit of a poke around looking at the sides of these things. I've had a look at the back as well. And I can't see where there might be a serial number or a model number on these bloody things. So, um, I'm just going to um, check them all. Uh, I suppose the next thing to do was to have a look underneath. Apparently there are a couple of screws. It looks like I've got one there. And also one over there. Just see if I can find a modern number or something. But, I can, you know, there's nothing off this externally. And I didn't want to start taking these things apart because of the risk. Because of a possible risk. Um, you know, without ascertaining whether it's safe to do so, first of all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this cover here. This one looks as if it's half off anyway and uh, just put a mask on and just see if we can find a modern number or serial number, okay. The number we don't want to see is this here, DSH 310. If it says that, we're struggling, because it means it's got asbestos in. So let's hope we don't see that anywhere. Great. 
great stuff. That's fantastic news. So what you can do now is just uh, dismantle these bloody things and uh, get these bricks out and get shot off and basically get them out of the house. There they are, those damn things, bloody things. And now these things were turned, so we've got 12 in here. I think we've got 12 anyway, we should have, uh, yeah, there we go. Look. Um, so you've got the, I don't actually know what these are made of, but all I know is the crap. Um, you've got the heating uh, elements there, look, and you've got um, bricks either side. So basically you've got six on each side, 12 all together. This is going to make a hell of a difference to the weight of the thing. Oh my god, beautiful. 